guys, welcome back to my video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get the ankle of the wind in Terraria. Let's get right into it, but before we do, if you do end up enjoying this video, don't forget to crush that like button and subscribe and share this video with someone you think might like it. Let's do this. Okay guys, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is start a small world. It can be on Master, Journey, Classic, doesn't matter. Then what you're going to want to do is make it Corruption. Yes, it does have to be Corruption. The name of the world doesn't matter. The seed is what matters. Now, the seed is actually Please. Now, if you're wondering the story behind this, <clears throat> it was really late at night, right? And I was trying to find the anklet of the wind, and I had no luck. So, I was just saying, please. That's what I typed in as the seed. And then there was actually an anklet of the wind on that seed. So, let's go ahead and hit create. And while this is loading, I'm going to go ahead and explain what you used the anklet of the wind for. So, basically, you can combine it with an aglet and then the specter boots to make something called the lightning boots. And they can run super fast. And then, of course, you can eventually turn them into the Terra Spark boots. Once you load into the world, you will be met with this god. For some reason, it seems like his name is always Trent, but I don't know if that's true. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out so you guys, you guys can see. You're going to want to go ahead and go to the right. Um, you can go ahead and just follow me. By the way, I just want to go ahead and say this only works on mobile. This does not work on PC or... I don't think it works on console, um, but I honestly don't know. I've only ever played on this. I just know it doesn't work on PC because PC seeds don't work on mobile. So, that's how I know it will not work on PC. Okay. So, once you go to the desert, you're just going to want to go ahead and keep going. And there's actually a lot of other good things on this seed. Alright. So, what you're going to want to do is go over that huge hill. And right up here, you will go into the jungle biome. Once you're here, you will be met with this big pond. Don't go into it. Okay. So, once you're right here, you're just going to want to keep going until you find this little ditch. Once you're here, you're just going to want to go ahead and go down. Go right through here. And then you're going to want to go down right here. You'll actually be met with a beehive. Don't go into it. You're going to want to go over here and then dig down at this chest. If you want to know what's in this chest, it is a jag inner tube and some lead, but that's not what we're here for, right? We're here for the anklet of the wind. So, go ahead and dig right down. Alright, so now that you're digging down, just gonna go ahead and keep going until you come out right here. Now, this is actually a really good seed, and it has a whole bunch of jungle shrines. So, this first one has a boomstick, um, a piece of gold, and three gold bars, and some other stuff. Um, then there's this other one right over here right over here that has something i honestly don't know what's in these i only know where the anklet of the wind is okay so this one has some flower boots and a suspicious looking eye which summons the eye of cthulhu all right so that is that one and apparently i accidentally just awoke queen bee which is not good don't worry i just ended our life so now we're gonna go ahead and keep going as you will see, there is a shrine right down there, but we're not going to worry about that because we're going to want to go ahead and go up because there is another shrine up here. Click on that, and we got the Feral Claws. Um, you can keep these if you want, but uh, I don't really have a use for them. I guess I can keep them, but, you know, no reason. And then the other shrine, Jungle Shrine, is right down here. Um, I think you guys saw it right there. So this is the next one. Okay, and once you're right here, you can go ahead and open up this chest, and you will find, let me go ahead and open it, some more feral claws and a suspicious looking eye, some health potions, recall potions, so you know, not, nothing too important, right? <clears throat> but the best part is just right over here, you can go ahead and see that there is another jungle shrine right here, and I'll go to it. This one is bum -ba -da -bum, the Anklet of the Wind. So, this is really cool. In fact, you can reload the seed and get as many as you want. Um, I don't need it since I already have one. But, um, yeah, I just want to go ahead and show you guys this. Uh, hey, look, there's the Jungle Temple. If you guys are interested in that, too. <clears throat> but, um, there are the coordinates. Um, 
right up there to the to top right, but all, like on the left of the mini map. You can see it is 2,672 east, and then 424 caverns, and then <coughs> it is just right here on the map. So you can see it is just right there. So not too far underground either. But some, yeah, it's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please crush that like button and subscribe and share this video with someone you think might like it. I really hope this helped you get your ankle out of the wind. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.